Hello Hyperion and happy spring from the Greens and Grounds department. The golf course is officially open. It's great to see people out enjoying the course again. Winter was getting long for us too, as I'm sure it was for you. We definitely had uh, cabin fever setting in. Um, so we'll do an update on what it is we've been up to this winter, as well as some of the things that you might uh, be seeing us uh, doing to improve the uh, course this spring. Uh, first and foremost, we've refurbished all the course equipment, the mowers, tractors, weed eaters, all that stuff is ready to go. We have a couple new pieces of equipment this year that we're excited about. Um, in addition to prepping all that sort of stuff, we've really done a lot of improvements to our work facility here at the shop. Uh, first and foremost, we've upgraded all the lighting to new LED. It's going to be so much brighter and a uh, much happier work environment as far as lighting goes, um, in addition to being much, much more energy efficient. Uh, we've also refurbished our wash bay. It was a, a dark and, and dingy place, and now it's uh, state-of-the-art with a new pressure washer, well lit, very clean, where we can really do a nice job of, of keeping care of our equipment. Um, in addition to that, we've uh, been busy down at our pump house, doing some nice maintenance down there. Um, that unit's approaching 25 years old. Um, it was in desperate need of some refurbishing, and so we took care of that. Out on the golf course, what are you going to see this spring? So we're excited for you to see the waterfall, and once we get the irrigation system up and going, we'll start turning that on so you can enjoy that as you're playing your round on number 14. In and around that waterfall, we're looking to add some plants, to add some color and some pop to that feature, as well as obviously reestablishing the turf. Um, going to make that just a real signature look for Hyperion, so we're really excited about that. All right, Hyperion, we're out here on 14. If you've been out, you've noticed that the waterfall has been repaired. The Hyperion staff will work to reestablish the pond edge, get some nice turf growing here. My goal is to have this area nicely maintained, as well as across the waterfall, a nice maintained area. In addition to that, we'll be planting some uh, nice colorful perennial plants in here to kind of give the area just a, a little aesthetic pop. Um, just really excited to turn on the irrigation system and turn on that pump and let the water fall down through there. It's just going to be striking and so much better. So looking forward to having it ready for you guys. First part of April, we're looking to start some cart path improvements and repairs. Uh, the contractor that we're working with wants to start here close to the shop. So you'll see us working on hole six, seven, eight, and up towards number nine to get started. Uh, part of that project, we're going to remove some of the problem trees on number eight but uh, do not distress. We do intend to plant some other trees in that area. Um, the idea is to remove some of the, the weaker trees, your silver maples, locusts that are problematic and replace them with some nice native trees like some oaks. Um, look for some, perhaps some fescue to be up, established up in that area. Um, so it's gonna make number eight just a much, much nicer part of the golf course. All right, members, we're out here on number eight, excited to get this cart path fixed. That repair is a rather large investment of our REAP initiative dollars. So I, with uh, the help of a um, arborist, as well as the Greens and Grounds Committee chairs and other staff members, have looked at a number of these trees in this area that are very shallow rooted and compromise our cart path to make a few common sense decisions about which trees do we really need to have that are damaging our cart path. So in this area here, you see a number of silver maples. They're very soft wooded, easily damaged by storms and very shallow rooted which destroys the cart path. So we made a common sense decision to remove a few of these and in their place we'll plant fewer but native species. Most of the impact will be to the right of the cart path so it's not going to be a significant impact to play but it should prolong the investment in this cart path and we're really excited to get it fixed up for you. In addition to that we've been working with contractors on uh, planting our PAR 3T leveling. We're excited to get that going. It'll probably be closer to the middle of the year. Um, in May, we've got a couple of exciting things. First and foremost, the fairway divot and tea divot filling party that we have uh, our families participate in. If you're new to Hyperion, it's a great way to come out and spend an afternoon with myself, some of my staff, some of the golf staff, and we can fill divots and just enjoy being together. It's a great way to ask me questions about the golf course. It's a great way for your kids to get out and get dirty, fill some divots, um, and it's a great way to meet other members, young and old. So really, really encourage a lot of families to come out. I believe the date set for that is May 15. I'm excited for that. Following that, we're going to do something a little bit different with aerification this year. Instead of closing once in the spring and once in the fall for a total of two closures, we're going to just close one time, and we're going to do that in the middle of May. So the idea is to knock both procedures out at the same time to offer the course to you 
for more days during the course of the season. So it's something that's going to be a little bit different that you'll see us do in the spring. Um, with that, just uh, excited to see everyone out there and uh, welcome back to Hyperion everybody.